And welcome back to Ace of Vegas, Spinners and Sharks. Ace here, so it's one day. Wendy, say hi, babe. Hi. <laughs> and today we are here at the Como Town. You can't see it because it's backwards. We are here at the Como Town Conservatory and Zoo because we're on holiday today. It's not a Vegas trip, but we're still going to have a great time. Let's get started. It's the Ace of Vegas. The Ace of Vegas. This is a conservatory. Yeah. So we're already at the conservatory. Yeah, I don't think this is correct. Let's just go. We'll figure yeah, it we'll out. Yeah, we'll go through the conservatory first. Yeah. Yeah, but well, I want to make sure you get your uh, animal settings. Yeah. That you wanted. Oh, well, this would be a good thing for you. You're kind of like the paleobotanist of the show. You're the Laura Dern of this show. <laughs> That's high praise and untrue, but thank you. Oh, well, you know, I like Laura Dern. I'm pretty fond of you, too. There you go. You're the Laura Dern of the show. Mm -hmm. Look anything like Laura Dern. She's got legs. <laughs> she does have legs, legs. I gotta admit. Yeah. <laughs> Laura Dern, if you ever watch this, this is the highest form of compliment. We love your legs. <laughs> and her acting. And the acting, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Now, we're, we're glad that you blew up the Star Destroyer in spectacular fashion. Actually, she blew up like 12 of them. Neither of us knew that she was in that movie until we saw it. Nope, I had no idea that was coming. <laughs> no idea that was coming. That was amazing. So here's the thing, do not drop coins in these uh, natural ponds like that. The nickel in them actually injures the leaves. So. Can you do the uh, donation now or on the way out? Oh no, let's do it now. Right. Let's do it now, I got cash. No, just stick. Okay guys, and we are officially inside. So to get inside the Como Zoo, it's actually free. This is one of the few remaining free zoos here. The recommended donation is indeed three dollars. This is the main. This is the main entrance here. So they have the gift shop, obviously, um, and then we also have the Tropical Encounters exhibit. That's pretty close over here, and it looks like that's probably the first place that we can go is Tropical Encounters. So we might do that. But first, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the map. To proper, because here everything is. Okay, so if we gone through Como Town, mm -hmm. um, which um, actually isn't entirely the name of the zoo, but it's this little theme park for small children that you guys can go through. So just FYI, in case you didn't know. Mm -hmm. So you wanna look at the spiders? Yeah, let's go check out some spiders. Okay, so looks like no spiders. They used to be over here, but not so much anymore. Let's go ahead and go into the rest of the conservatory. Okay, Tropical Encounters. Thank you, Wendy. It was a good wave. Thank you, love. Okay, and we're not doing any food or beverage beyond this point, which is a pity because I'm starving. No, you should tell me that. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm telling uh, our live studio audience that. No, I'm not live streaming this. I should have live streamed this. <laughs> I don't think I had enough charge on my phone. Oh, okay, so it looks like they got... What are those painted turtles, I want to say. All right, so no hands, no coins in the water before you guys forget. Very tropical, very humid here. I'm feeling like the humidity is on the upper end of 80%. Because apparently... Yep, got to take care of the plants. Oh, is that an eel in there? Yeah, I see an eel up there, too. It's actually really impressive. Popular place today for having a football game on. It's always popular in here. Yeah. But I figured, you know, the Vikings are playing. Also, um, shout out to my boy Isaac. Um, also, Isaac Rip, uh, your, your Raiders. You're losing to Luke's uh, Vikings. Shout out to my boy Luke, and uh, cheers to you, Luke, because your Vikings are slaughtering them. Last, last I checked, it was twenty-one to zero, but we were at the we were at the cafe at the time. So, we'll drop off over here. Looks like we're going into South American rainforest. What do we got over here? Oh, we got another species of. Oh, not an eel. Oh, Calisans. These are salamanders, or a species of amphibian similar to salamanders. Interesting. Fully aquatic too. That's interesting. Poison dart frog exhibit. 
Very poisonous, don't Sorry. touch. And we've got ourselves a rainbow boa constrictor. Okay, honey, so do you know more about the uh, Como Zoo? I only know two things about it. I know it was started in 1873 because some politician or something like that got the gift of a deer and they decided to go ahead and build a zoo around the one deer. Okay, and the other thing I know about it is that in 1994, I believe it was, uh, I have not actually, I was doing the, <laughs> doing the history portion of the video yeah. here. Mm -hmm. um, I remember, I think 1994, it was Kobe the gorilla mm -hmm. actually broke out of his enclosure and ran around the zoo for about 45 minutes. There were no injuries, no casualties. Uh, and, and Kobe was successfully tranquilized and returned to his enclosure. Then they rebuilt it. Oh, sorry. Then they rebuilt it. And, uh, yeah, I think he moved to a different zoo. Everyone lived happily ever after. Yeah. All right. Now, is it shrimp or krill that flamingos eat? Because I know it's their diet that actually gives them the pink coloration. I found that fascinating. I don't know that. Yeah. I, I don't know which one, which one they eat. Yeah. Maybe both? Probably. Meaning that this I'm water guess, is actually I'm loaded. Krill. Probably krill. Yeah. Although it kind of makes you wonder if uh, whales had plumage, would they also be pink? Blue whales. My guess is no. Chilean flamingo. It doesn't specify which foods, just says they pick their pigments from which foods they eat. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we go for the primate house. Primate, <laughs> like it's a Pokemon primate house. We're standing up. And there goes our silverback. That means it's not worth fighting over. Females, and more of a secret, females are most of the only groups absolutely hate each other unless they're relatives. They still stick together because there's not much to fight over except for they fight the fruit. Then they don't get very hairy. Luckily, they have the silver back to settle things up, and now we're getting some enrichment thrown into the area. So even though the females hate each other, they stick around each other because the silver back is the thing, the common factor that draws them all in. Female gorillas, when they grow up, seek out a silverback, separate from their home group, the rest of the time, much larger and stronger than any of the female This means it's a very good protector. You can protect the female from threats to her and the baby she will have with the silverback. Like her siblings and her aunts and so on and so forth. They don't like the other way of females. So it doesn't matter what it does. Wow, I've never seen this happen before. That was intense. That's pretty intense. So, the silverback's job is to protect the female from threats. And those threats are worse. Well, this is an interesting, uh... Other than the silverbacks and humans. Humans being... Well, that'll definitely be an interesting uh, thing to put on the tutorial. Here, those... the gorillas from here as well. Ah, I should have just filmed them from out here. Yeah, never in all my years have I ever thought I'd have a gorilla fight on my Vegas channel. And looks like the orangutans are hanging out on top of their enclosure, too. That's a nice surprise. We were kind of wandering back to the conservatory and then discovered the orangutan. Here comes the baby. Original child. Here goes. Bye bye. Another fistful of grass for the road. Yep. Yeah, they all seem very, very fond of that grass. I wonder. I wonder why that is. Yeah, I knew I recognized that smell. Looks like we've got some American bison over here. Yes, they're bison, not buffalo. Buffalo are African animals. Just FYI, I'm almost done being a know-it-all. <laughs> but yeah, we got some bison. Let's go ahead and get a little closer. See if we can get past the uh, past the fence over here. There we go. Much closer now. They're out here grazing. Very musky. 
trait of the species, I'm sure. Make delicious burgers, too. They do. <laughs> okay, let's try the aquatic animals over here. Looks like we got, what are these, rock harper penguins? Or, actually, no, they're African penguins, sorry. All hanging out on the rocks over here. <laughs> and it looks like we got sea lions over here. There they go. Very nice, very fast, and quite exciting. Sea lions always, always a good way to uh, start and slash or end a zoo trip. Yeah, we even got some puffins hanging around here. All right. Let's see, and it looks like we've got some those goats or kudu over there. Yep, doll sheep, doll sheep. Let's see. Okay, so it looks like a... Oh, right. uh, oh, there we go. So I'm not sure if you guys can see past the rocks over here, but we've got some doll sheep on the other side of the fence over here. Very nice. For some reason, they have a slide in there. I didn't know that they played with slides and things like that. That's interesting. Okay, guys, we're coming up on the African hoofed animals here. So this is the other part of uh, the part part of the zoo over here so we got the zebras in the background and yes they're called zebras not zebras I uh, did check into it in Africa they say zebra and they have them so they get to name them we don't have them in America so we don't get to name them so zebra is wrong zebra is correct anyway we also have the giraffes it's like a small family group over here that they actually share in common with the zebras. I'm not sure if you guys can see them in the stable over there, but the zebras also live with the giraffes. And then we have ostrich in the background over here too. I don't know much about the animals individually. If this was a dinosaur park, I'd have you guys covered, but I'm just here to show the, the uh, animals today. <laughs> so. Much better shot of the giraffe from here. The baby giraffe's already like 10 feet tall. It's astonishing, really. Okay, coming up on the large cat house now. Yep, caught the tiger hiding. Yep, it's cougar exhibit. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, there's the cougar exhibit. <laughs> okay, so here's your typical house cat. Snow leopard. And of course the big more tiger skull. A little bit different. Coming out to the lion enclosure. They're actually inside the enclosure, you know, outside the fence and all that, but inside the actual, there he is. Also asleep right now, not that I can say I blame him, I slept in today too. There he goes. He's probably had enough of our nonsense. He just woke up. And this is the North Garden. Neem trees. Yeah, you know, got oh, huh. I guess they grow spices in here too, black pepper. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I'm no botanist, so I don't know anything interesting about the plants, sorry to say, guys. Definitely still a pretty good time, though. 
And the fountain, too. It's a lovely fountain. Huh. Yeah, they got lots of spices and foods growing in here. So here we are in the Ordway Memorial Japanese Garden. It's a more interesting part of the conservatory. Some nice architecture here. Very strong Japanese theming, obviously. And I don't think I have any more uh, reasonable narration to go through here. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh. Nice. I do hope no one's ever fallen into the uh, pond over here. Definite loss and Pena shot right there. And finally, we are at the Sunken Gardens. So this is where we have the loveliest flowers. Got a nice little pond over here too. These stairs that almost killed me. Those are some intense stairs. See? Great place for parties. Think for anniversaries and weddings. Hint, hint, fellas. If you guys aren't going to do the Ace of Vegas wedding package with my Vegas, you can always ask her to get married here. Alright guys, that was the whole Como Town Zoo and Conservatory tour here in St. Paul, Minneapolis, not, um... St. Paul, Minnesota. They're the same place. <laughs> uh, honey, what's your favorite part of the tour there? The gorillas. Gorillas, for sure. They were the best part of the tour. So, if you guys are ever in the St. Paul area, definitely feel free to drop on by and we'll uh, see you here. We probably won't be there, but, you know, we'll uh, definitely make sure to make some extra time to fly out just for you guys. <laughs> On that bombshell, Ace of Vegas. And Wendy. Signing out, wishing you guys strong hands and happy spending you guys.